It's bad enough that NFTs are a thing, but when a group goes out of their way to impersonate an already existing entity, fake their social media profiles to seem more legitimate, all in an effort to promote their garbage NFT, then you know there's a problem. Hey, my name is Styx, and I think I just found what is legitimately the largest illegal MMORPG. Now, if this is your first time here and you're interested in what you see, I urge you to go down and click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to remain updated with everything I post. And quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. You guys are all amazing. Every bit of support helps us maintain this dream that we get to live of creating gaming videos on YouTube. Now, today we are talking about an MMORPG called Soul Reborn. Now, according to their Twitter page, they are a new pay to earn MMORPG game that has stolen characters, that has artwork and gameplay that are taken from Soul Worker. Soul Worker being an anime MMORPG that is both developed and published by Lion Games. This is a game that I have covered extensively over the course of the last four years, ever since it launched in Japan, launched in Korea, and then came over to North America and Europe. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, sticks. their Twitter, it, it looks pretty legit. They have 73,000 Twitter followers. They have an actual website, a fully functional website. Their Twitter was even established all the way back in April 2009. That definitely does not seem like a scam to me. With this in mind, before we go ahead and delve into this any further, let me preface this by stating that this Twitter page, Soul Worker EN, is the official Soul Worker Twitter, not the Soul Reborn Twitter. The Soul Worker EN Twitter is owned, it is operated by Lion Games. On January 28th, Lion Games issued a public service announcement concerning Soul Reborn. It went on to read, Notice, unlicensed illegal NFT related to intellectual property of Soul Worker. Soul Reborn is the game that currently steals the intellectual property of Soul Worker without permission. Please do not sign up or promote the above mentioned site to prevent further damages. Lion Games will take strong legal action and respond to those who take a legal advantage without mercy. Thank you. Now, the Soul Worker TC Twitter page did go on to reach out to Soul Reborn via a reply to one of their tweets, with a reply directly from Lion Games going on to state that Soul Worker is an official product of Lion Games. All resources are illegally abused, and legal actions will be conducted regarding this unauthorized program. To which Soul Reborn laughably responded with, Hello, we have purchased the IP of Soul Worker through legal channels and signed the documents. If you have any other comments, please contact us through your lawyer. We will now sue you for defamation through legal means. At this juncture, people were confused. Once again, Soul Reborn has over 70,000 followers on their Twitter account, and the account in question is well over a decade old. How could this Twitter have existed for as long as it has without it being legitimate. To explain that, we're going to have to take a minute here and look at the history of Soul Worker. Soul Worker, the anime MMO, was first released in Japan on April 6th, 2016, with Hong Game publishing the game within Japan. Smilegate then went on to publish the game in Korea on January 18, 2017. We didn't receive the game in the West until February 26th, 2018. So then you're left to wonder, why was a Twitter account created for this game six years before the game was even released? What purpose would that have even served? And furthermore, how would they have even known this game was in development? I decided, therefore, that I was curious and I was going to scroll through the Soul Reborn tweet history. I was going to attempt to get a gauge of the kinds of tweets that they have been making over the last decade. However, their very first tweet originated all the way back on November 19th, 2021. That's literally just three months ago. And it simply read as Soul Reborn. The second tweet was made 11 days later on November 30th, 2021. Their Twitter feed then proceeded to periodically introduce new characters that they claim were theirs, all the while hosting various different giveaways to promote their illegal NFTs. But how does a Twitter that was created all the way back in 2019 with over 70,000 followers just magically appear out of thin air. Honestly, quite easily. Let me explain. Soul Reborn likely did one of two things. Number one, 
They purchased an already established Twitter account that was made back in 2009. They went on to change the username, the information that was attached to the account, and they used the community of followers that the account had as a basis with which to grow and market their NFT too. Org number two, they purchased a Twitter account that was made back in 2009 and proceeded to purchase fake followers. As it is evident that their followers do not interact with their tweets, 70,000 followers and 10 to 40 likes per tweet, that is highly unlikely. This route would have allowed for them to easily accumulate as many followers as they needed to give off the illusion that they were in fact a legitimate company. Because social media cred is all that is important, uh, that is all that is required in this day and age. You have hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram or, or on TikTok or on Twitter, then as is evidenced by the fact that you have so many followers that all these people look to you as a paragon of information and truth. Regardless of which method So Reborn utilized, what they did was wrong. It was immoral. They faked the stats on their accounts. They bought fake followers, all in an attempt to look more legitimate to potential players. Going back to the tweet from earlier by Soul Worker TC, Soul Reborn are claiming that they obtained the rights to the entire Soul Worker intellectual property, reproduction, and distribution rights that they are planning on suing every person commenting on their page for defamation through legal means. All the while, going on to delete the tweet that these comments were being left on to avoid additional exposure to their scam. Notice how the tweet is now unavailable? Yeah, that is a cheap way of attempting to and subsequently failing to cover things up. What baffles me the most about this, and I am going to use the term discussion here as I am feeling a little bit generous, is that they were reached out to by Lion Games personally. And not just one single employee from Lion Games, multiple. They were reached out to by the official Soul Worker Steam page. They were reached out to by the Soul Worker art director himself, all claiming that Soul Reborn had no rights to the properties that they were attempting to sell and to use to scam players. Yet they are adamant to this day that they do. They copy and paste the same legal threat repetitiously like it's going to make the matter admissible. I am genuinely shocked that this is still somehow functional, that they have somehow managed to get away with this for the last two months. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand the appeal of NFTs, I do. I do not endorse, nor will I ever engage in them personally, but seeing something like an instance where a person or group of people can take the intellectual property from an existing entity like so Worker and Lion Games, that then proceed to fake their growth, to fake their community, and then get hosted, get advertised by accounts like Nexttype with hundreds of thousands of followers. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna need a, a trash can to throw up in. Now I am 100% in full support of Soul Worker and Lion Games. I understand realistically they're not the largest company and legal battles like this might be much more difficult for them if they have the capital to even engage in a long drawn out case. But if Soul Reborn genuinely stole assets and are marketing their pay to earn MMORPG when they do not have the legal rights to do so, I genuinely hope that they meet a swift legal end. Until then, all I can do is warn you all against using Soul Reborn as per the official developers themselves Soul Reborn is unlicensed and 100% illegal. You know what isn't illegal though? This game right here. If you're interested in what is going to be one of potentially the largest games of 2022, there you go.